Oh, the Kellys, yeah, he was a judge, was it? It's a judge, I wonder who we get to see in. I might have a peep before you. Oh, wow. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are in County Clare and this is the village of Ruan. But uh, I want to show you this church, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that tower, I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Get you a better look at it there now. Look at that. Gorgeous. We might just take a quick peep inside. Not only is it blue outside, but blue inside as well. And they have their crib and with tradition, you take some straw or hay from the crib and place it into your wallet. And the hope is you will never be poor. Right, we're going out to the graveyard because there are some mausoleums out here, as well as headstones. This plaque here says, erected to the memory of Jeremiah B. Kelly, JP, of Port Ruan and his family, generous benefactors to this church. So one of the mausoleums are um, for the Kellys. Justice of the peace. JP. Justice of the peace, yeah. Grateful memory of Mrs. Margaret McEwen or Mac McGowan maybe and benefactress of this church as well. Rest in peace, 1909. So let's go outside. The steps would probably go up to the um, where the organ is, maybe, and up onto a balcony. Gosh, that church is stunning, isn't it? I love the colour, yeah. I love the colour, but... But that the, the tower up there... The tower uh, is just fabulous. The bell tower looks like uh, something you'd see in America, is it? In America, or... Yeah, maybe. Or maybe Germany. Germany. Or... It's just gorgeous. Now, let's hope that this place is not locked up. It's the old graveyard. Yeah, so we have a new and an old graveyard. This does look like... It's locked. Now, I think we can get through it from the other end if this is the case. Oh, okay. So we can just walk through. Now, don't let the sun make you think for a minute that it's a, a lovely warm day, because it's not. It is freezing. It's a huge mausoleum. That is a huge mausoleum. Now, is this Mr. Kelly? J.P. Kelly. Uh, this is another one here, I'd imagine, look. Vault, yeah. See the way the grass just grows on top of it. And then we have what are ruins of the old church. That is massive. 
Looks Egyptian. We have an iron there and a coat of arms. But we'll try and get around and have a, a better look. I'm not sure whether that's the front or the back. I presume this is the back actually. Let's have a look, wander around. Can't believe the size of it. So this is the front. But I can't, there's no writing on it. The, over the, the entrance, if you can see that, is the coat of arms. Looks like a man holding a bow and arrow there. Yeah. But there's no name. So I'm not sure whether this is Kelly. What do you think? That's, there's no writing on that plaque, is there? I don't think so. No. There's not, is there? I think it could be, it is the Kelly Mausoleum, because online it does say the Kelly Mausoleum. Yeah. So I think that's the only mausoleum as such the structure it is a mausoleum so it must be the kelly i don't know why the names aren't on it though jeremiah kelly jeremiah kelly jp and i believe that there was a house called port house as well so that's probably where he resided and i'm sure there's many many more people in there with him i mean you can see that the it's like red brick there on the the door and they've even um closed up those little vents or windows there. See Australia on this one. Looks like Cochrane, is it? Yeah. Uh, and Australia Correct. then at the bottom, yeah. Australia. And there's another one. That's a beautiful one with the ivy on it. In memory of... Looks like 1920 on it there, but... Looks like Bartholomew. So let's just have a look at this vault. You can kind of see the mausoleum there at the side, there's vents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but they're all closed up even. There's one at the top there, kind of open. Yeah, but I think there's something behind that one. It's hard to know if you could see it. I wouldn't think so. Just want to look at this one here, actually. There is a name on this one. And I'm not sure what that is it's like um, a person isn't it see the arm that's oh, saint patrick it? it's like a bishop isn't it's saint patrick saint yeah patrick. saint patrick and then here we have this vault was erected by thomas foley in memory of his beloved wife elizabeth foley or sorry eliza foley alias brew brew who departed this life April the 8th, 1845, aged just 53. Do you know what I love is that design around yeah. here. Yeah, it's beautifully done. So the coffin would just literally so go in there, wouldn't it? St. Patrick, yeah. St. Patrick. Right, let's take a, a wander around and see what else we can find. So these are the runes. And there is graves in here actually as well. Without stepping on anything. There's several actually. Several flat stone tombs here. Most of the writing is is gone. In loving memory of Mary Kate Hanrahan. 1924, aged just 30. Mary Hanrahan then. Died August 1980 and her age is actually gone. These uh, flat stones will be more, more um, they're much, much older. In loving memory of Michael, H E H I R. Never seen that sound. No, would it be here? Hair? Not sure. His wife, Helen, 1890. 
Michael died in 1872. And their sons, James, Daniel, Joseph, and their grandsons, Daniel and John, and John's daughter, all buried here. There's two little plaques here. Look at these. Marie Davis, 2003. The other one I can't read. Maybe there's ashes there. Hard to know. And then we have more. They're kind of all just put in anywhere at all. They can. It's like the fitting where they can find a space, isn't it? What's going on in here? Looks like some sort of work has been done, but there is a plaque here. Erected. Won't be able to see it, will we? Oh. That's a different language, is it? Even if you can get a date on that. It's a different language. Our old, old English writing of something. No, Lord God. Oh, 1688, guys. Wow. Let me see if I can just zoom in there, if you can hold that for me. There it is. 1688. Wow. Fortunately, we just can't read it properly. 1688. See, can we get a name? Um, Erected by. It says here this chapel and tomb were Martin erected by. by Dunica. Dunica. Oh, H O K. Oh, oh, Lord. Don't know. The son the of. Son of Dermot. Whatever that surname is of. Gosh, I don't know. His posterity. They. The uh, something Lord. over Lord God. 1688. Oh. So, so this is obviously. Is this the tomb? And they're trying to do something with it. Possibly. Maybe what was underneath it. It's hard to know, isn't it? Because there's nothing else in here. Really. They look like what they use for the graves, isn't it? Do you know the liner? They put the t top the over the grave after a burial before. The men can come to, to fill it in. Wow, look at this one. Beautiful designs here, our Lord on the cross. Here lieth the mortal remains of John, who departed this life, age 60, the year is gone, unfortunately, but that's a gorgeous design there. And just what I've noticed here is actually another, another vault, is it? It is another vault, yeah. Let's see if we can read this one. And getting close enough. Whoops. Ooh. Gosh, that is. Do you know what? That's it looks like it's sideways. That's sideways. The writing is sideways. So at some stage, it may be it has fallen. No, any date even. 43, it looks like aged 43. Here, I see. You know That's weird, isn't it? I wonder is that part of another. Tomb and I don't know. There. To kind of close it? Yeah. Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? Let me see, have a proper look at it. Love those old vaults with the the ivy and the grass kind of growing over them. This one oh here. Lord, look at that, the water in it. And boy is this place flooded. Flooded roads, fields. This one is 1870. That is just sitting underwater. Crow is the surname and there's several names. Several names there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 people buried here. All of these, yeah, Crow. And then we have Hanrahan. Hanrahan seems to be a popular name around these areas. It's another beautiful tomb erected by... In memory of his father. Unfortunately, I can't read that one either. It's a shame. But what I've just noticed here is yet another vault. 
just there. This tomb was erected by Coleman O'Loughlin for him and his family. 1784. Another tomb or vault. Vault. Coleman O'Loughlin. Oh, my shadow's in the way now, of course. I love the grass. That grows. That's what I said, yeah. Here lies the bo body of Hugh O'Loughlin, who died December 1749, father of Coleman, grandfather of Sir Michael. Wow. And they have erected this new little headstone to place this one, which is fantastic. So you can see the, the grass completely growing over it. Almost completely blended into the to the land itself. Amazing. You can hear the chime next door in the new cemetery. Yeah, so this is the new cemetery here. So there's actually another area over there as well. Maybe we'll go over there and have a look after. Oh yeah. It looks like a new area for us. There's not very many of these that we can actually read, which is unfortunate. A lot of them have just completely no, worn you... away. There's another vault actually down down here, I think. Mm -hmm. Might take another. We've another two vaults actually that I've just seen. Burned, yeah. yeah. Just have a look at this one. So this is Hayes. It has two, uh, two Harleys and a slitter engraved on the, the back of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. It frightened the heart of me. I thought you were so it was a dog. Oh my god. Wow, he frightened me. And would you look? A there's a little ball. tennis ball there. Oh. Well, I tell you, I'm after getting a fright just looking at him. And I'm not even afraid of dogs, but that is just so lifelike. And this is Patrick M. Casey. And he died March 1951 and his wife Susan, she died in 1970 and Paddy Casey then 2000. Nancy then is 2022, she was 92 when she died. So we have mum and dad here, but this dog, and actually we have a little robin and I love robins. But the dog with the little ball is just amazing and he actually just took me by surprise there. Like oh my time, goodness, yeah he's just frozen. <laughs> I think it's a border collie or a sheepdog. Beautiful. And this is the one we were actually looking at when I spotted himself there. It's just this. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love it. So this is another vault here. And this is not the newer section, but I mean, these are probably from 1940s, maybe. Whoa, look at this one. Oh, look at that. It's like a little step going down. In memory of Martin Taffe. T-A-A-F-F-E. -T yeah, Taff. Taff? I've never heard of it. Um, he departed this life aged 55 in 1870, erected by his beloved wife. And then in loving memory of John... Another name I've never heard. We Actually, we did. We've seen this name just over here. H-E-H-I-R. Here is all I can think of. And his wife, Helena Nee Taff, 1950. Their son, Joseph, 1977. And his wife, Nora, 1978. So that was the last internment there. Uh, we'll go down the steps in a second. I just want to see. Look at the shape of it. Wow, look at that. I just keep looking at that church. Whoa, nearly fallen. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So clever, the way they um, made these old mausoleums, aren't they? Construct them, yeah. Yeah, like, I think that's amazing. And such a different front to it. But when you go around the side, you see that, that arch. You'd often wonder, the people that are buried there, did they actually speak to somebody to say what style they want? Yeah, maybe this was the style. Because there's a few of them here um, at that time. 
So there's actually no little hole there that we can take a little peep in. But nonetheless, it is a beautiful mausoleum or a vault. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then there's another one just across here. Another kind of a barrel shaped top to it. Similar in design to this one. This, I presume, is the back of it. This is the back of it, yeah. And then you see all the ivy growing around it. And we'll take a look at who owns it. Look at this little one. Erected by Pat Lynch. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. You just frightened her. <laughs> I thought you were to my left and not to my right. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pat Lynch uh, died 1870, it says here. That's lovely, the gates. And they're quite new gates. So it's nice to see they're still keeping tradition of these rails. Oh, so the plaque has come off the, the front of this one, which is unfortunate. And I can see... We have the armoured arm with what looks like a, it's a dagger, I'd imagine. John O. O'Brien, is it? O'Brien Esquire. Um, any date on it? 1866. But you can see the armoured arm there with the dagger. So that's just come away from that there, unfortunately. And that church, I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Mausoleum. There's loads, I would say, in that mausoleum. It's so big. But I still don't get... Hold on. Why there's no names? There's no names there, is there? Or is it... No, it's been bricked up, so it's not still active. I thought I'd seen... But it looks like the plaques were here... So they could name people. No. Oh. Maybe it's worn away, is it? I don't think so. No. The, it's definitely the Kelly. Yeah. Oh, definitely is, because the rest of them we've been able to name. And no. The plaque inside in the church there. Yeah, it does say it. Is, um, There's nothing. Like, we've all of these lovely plaques that are completely without names on them, which is a shame. So we were we were lucky actually to get into the church because we often find that you don't get to go in there because it's usually locked up. There's a lovely photo on this one, beautiful grave as well. Mary Griffin, dear wife, mother and grandmother. 2018, aged just 65. Remember me as you pass by, as you know, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, you will be. Remember that and pray for me. Such a, a truer saying that uh, I often find actually on graves and when you read it, it kind of does give you that um, moment where you remember your own mortality, I suppose. I don't know why the crane is there, but it's there. People are going towards cremation more, aren't they? Yeah, and I think, you know, land is getting scarce. So you can see, maybe that's why the crane is there. This has only been put together now because these are the actual niches. Imagine your ashes will go in here. And it uh, doesn't take up very much space at all in the graveyard. There's actually not one of them are in use at the moment. So a new addition to the, the graveyard. So this is the the newer section. See a lovely one actually down here. Loved beyond measure. Let's see if we can just get down to to read this one. Astrid Flynn, 2013 to 2016. So just a child. Wow, loved beyond measure. There is little pictures on the bottom of the the grave. See like a paintbrush, a butterfly, a duck, 
teacup and it looks like a little bun and a bag so obviously a girly girl I'd imagine So they're probably bought bought plots um, for for future burials, I suppose. Have bought their their little plot of land. Right. So just up from the graveyard is an area with a mausoleum just at the side of the road. I don't even know whether we're going to get in the gate, but it is so interesting. That's it there. So you'll have to excuse the noise there, we're right at the side of the road. And this is the mausoleum. We probably won't even be able to get to read the names, but it's J. B. Kelly, as far as I can make out. So this is not even in a graveyard. This is just at the side of the road, up from the graveyard. So somebody obviously still comes to visit. This is huge. See, can I read for you? Oh. All right, so it says, uh, in respectful memory of J.B. Kelly, J.P. Uh, Port, P-O-R-T-E, the 5th of September, 1882, I think, aged... 60 something years old. Wow. And then there's an also um, MB Kelly. Must be his So, this wife. is the one I think that Chris actually put on Find the Grave. Oh, the Kellys, yeah, he was the judge, wasn't it? It's the judge. I wonder who we get to see in. I might have a peep before you. Oh, wow. Look oh, at that. Yeah. There's several coffins in here. Let's see. We've two there. It looks like one or two. Oh, two, I'd say. There's probably one underneath. Let's see if I can get into this one. Look at that. Oh, we've some even at the side. There. What's that? I don't know what that is. It's like flowers, maybe? Palm trees. Maybe. It? Where's that little hole again? Look at that, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and what some over. Something? Yeah, that is amazing. Right now, try and find the hole again. God, where is it? There he's go. Wow, look at that. I think there's probably. I don't know, five or six maybe in here? That is amazing. Look at the style of them. The crosses on them. So I think that's two there. And then with two beautiful, real ornate ones there. Isn't that gorgeous? And then lower down, we've at least one more, it's I one believe. Kind of fall, fall, fall apart here. Maybe, the, is it? On the right, down the bottom. Oh, yeah, the inside, the down top. More. I won't be able to see it. See, see the way it's crumbled. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. The handle. And then we have, I believe, if I just zoom out again, like that is amazing. I think that's two there, and there's possibly yeah, there's more just there as well. Wow, what a find! This place is gorgeous. So I think Chris actually did the the find the grave for here, didn't he? Chris Peterson, yeah. So Chris does find a grave the whole time. He's actually started his own YouTube channel called The Silent Forgotten. So Chris has done the find a grave for this one. And we didn't realise you had found this. And when we went to kind of research it, we seen uh, yeah. Chris's name on it. That is just simply amazing. So that's the person who that's made it. the person who made it. Glee, sons, no, something and sons. Lee, H. Lee and Sons. H. Glee and Sons. So they made this. I'm going to see if I can get a look this iron, through this top one. Iron door. Not as well, I don't think. Just It's it's just mind-blowing that this is at, as I said, the side of a road. 
No grave. The graveyard. We've come up from the graveyard to see, see what's this. What's on the left there? Over on the left. See all those bits. That's right, is it? Over there. Your left. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's like see crumbling coffins, bits. is it? Possibly is. Yeah, maybe just bits of coffin. God, there seems to be more every time I look. Another one just there. It's crazy, isn't it? Right, uh, well, that is the Kelly Mausoleum. He was a justice of, a pe of the peace and obviously all his family is here. It is spilling rain, so we're going to go. Take care. God bless. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you all soon. God bless. Take care, guys. Woo! We're getting soaked.